um, and it, it will be some final if we can do get through this team today. Our first frame we're seeing the eight ball flying around the table. It's not going to drop, but Ireland will get the first opportunity in the hero of their quarterfinal, Sean Sharkey, at the table. Yeah, you mentioned the potential for an Ireland, Northern Ireland final. There's a lot of people here, a lot of neutrals here that would absolutely love to see it and this place would go off if that happened but you have to say this Malta team look very strong. Yeah, the Malta team is very, very strong um, but I have full confidence in these lads. They're, they're, they're very able and very capable of winning this. Um, Sean is well up and top and it's sat for Ireland and in the general competition itself so yeah, just I think it's confidence um, and they have to believe that they're, that they're going to win this. Well, they certainly got the opportunity to get off to a bright start here. They had to dig deep in their previous round. They were good favourites against Belgium, but had to dig really deep. Sean Sharkey made a buzzer beater to take us into a six red shootout. And then in the six red itself, they were able to comfortably do the job some scenes when they won earlier on yeah these aren't difficult I think it's just that Sean has to just work an angle to get into the black uh, and get into a pot in position so I think position is the main objective here so key shot from is definitely going to be the last positional shot the eight ball's not wide open it's actually a similar situation to the clearance he made in the quarter-final. He had to play short position, played it well. And Sean just took his extension just to make sure. The adrenaline must be pumping through their veins at this stage. Yeah, as well, because they're in the arena watching what we've just seen as well. And they've obviously already had the taste of it in their earlier matches. And now they're out there again. They're, they have to actually calm down a little bit. I know I have to calm down in the commentary <laughs> box and um, actually just focus on what they've got to do at the moment, which is, you know, we're in a 40 minute match. It is a 14 frame match. It's a case of just doing, doing their business here and trying to almost take the drama out of the match at this stage. This will be a great shot. Oh, he misses, oh, just he misses the it. cannon. He just put himself in a tough, tough spot there. Not easy to spin that round. Yeah, this is a very difficult shot. Oh, he missed it. It was such a fine cut. Almost to the point where it was about as thin as it co possibly could be. May not have even been on. He's really tried to spin that one in as well. Sean's going to be very disappointed with that. He would have expected to clear him, but it's not that easy out there, especially when you have to play a big shot towards the end. So Gary Carr from Malta gets their first opportunity. And Malta got off to a, a flying start when they played earlier on. They played against Wales, which was a very tight match on paper, but 4-0 they flew ahead. And they... Speaking to them afterwards, they're here to do business. They really fancy the job tonight. Yeah, very good team. Excellent players. Let's just let that one run a little bit loose. And John just sits up in his chair a little bit. Still needs to be made, this one. And he does. Yeah, very good shot. Excellent shot. So it's a fairly easy black now to make a 1-0. Malta are on the board. They draw first blood. Yeah, good break there. Clayton Castilli then with an opportunity for Malta. You feel a little cannon required. 
as the team yeah, watch on. Yeah, there's a small bunch there just in the triangle area itself. It's just to find the right pattern, I suppose, Simon. Yeah, just connect them up. You feel like it's just one shot here. It's not going to be easy, though. Trying to, if you go into them from the top, you, you're actually you're not guaranteed. It looks like he's quite straight on this yellow to the top as well. I'm not sure he has a huge amount of options here. That's why he's taking his time to figure it out. If all he can do is come back in a straight line, he's actually in a little bit of trouble. He might have just enough angle to screw down into the yellow and red that are together. Yeah, it looks like he may have a slight angle, as you said there. Oh. He actually had a good angle there. He just overhit the shot. So that when you overhit it, it's throwing wide before the spin takes. And that's why he didn't get anywhere near his target. He's still on the next ball, though. It's going to be very hard probably to get position on this. So probably could be chasing a small bit. Malta yeah. miss and the Irish crowd shout. Yeah, come on Gary Bracken. And the Irish commentator shouts. <laughs> <laughs> Not easy here for Gary, that red that Clayton wasn't able to deal with because it was in the way for his yellows. That's his problem here. And so much so he isn't even going to attempt to go for anything. Has he left the yellow to the right corner though? The way he's coming around to have a look, I think maybe. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I think he's he's perfect on this. He's looking at the yellow to go to the top right-hand pocket. Not ideal, but it's okay. No. It's opened it up. He's, it, I think the cue ball is far enough to the left as we look, right as he looks, to be able to get to the center to pot this one. And if the yellow goes left center, it's, it's very comfortable. If it doesn't, he still has to play a shot here. Oh, that's just not going to work. No. Could be touching. Yeah, touching ball. Doesn't give him a huge amount of options. It maybe stops for one shot. Maybe he can make it as hard as possible, but it's still now Ireland's frame to lose. And yeah, he couldn't even, couldn't really hide the white anywhere. So Gary Bracken now has a clean run to the line in this frame. Just has to hold himself together, which is a lot easier to say than to do in this environment, in this atmosphere. Even in the early stages of the match. Yeah, absolutely. But as we've seen all night, I suppose it's not going past about 10 frames anyway, so all, every frame is important to both sides. Yeah, the shorter the match goes in terms of frames played, the more every frame carries weight. It's not a case of getting to eight frames, even though it's a 14 frame match. It's a case of being in front when that clock runs down. We've already used almost a quarter of the match clock and we're in frame two. 10 minutes just about gone here. Just a reminder, it's a 30 second shot clock and for the final 10 minutes, we will be down to that dreaded 15 seconds a shot that we love and the players hate. Oh, good shot. Well, 
may not be quite straight enough just to top this through to get nicely on the one down the cushion. So he's thinking down the cushion last shot, which means the cue ball is going to be doing some travelling towards it. That's good. Come on, Gary, now just keep focused. See, he nearly missed it thin, and that allowed the cue ball to go that extra couple of rolls to the left-hand side. Just makes this eight ball trickier. Oh, what a back. Whoa, wide, whoa. Ah, oh, that's good stuff. Had to wait before he could give it. But Islander on the board. Gary Bracken coming up big for his team. Oh, cue ball straight in. Yeah. Straight in. And what's the split like? Okay, it's a little bit tight, but you have to say a decent opportunity here. Probably yellows. The two reds on the left-hand side don't look nice. It's just the two yellows by the eight ball. Does the one directly above it, does that go anywhere? The one above it to the left, that goes comfortably bottom left. So we may need a nudge there. And then the three together on the left-hand side. It's all just a little bit tight. Yeah, very, very tight. Uh, but I suppose um, the, the benefit he has is extension, so he could probably use it here just to, to map it out himself and, and get the sequence in his head. Yeah, it also helps him that we're still at the 30 seconds of shot, so he's just got that little bit more time, a little bit more breathing room to work out his pattern here. And he's not happy with his first shot. He's knocked the red on top of the yellow and shake of the head. Yeah, there's a bit of work to be done on this frame. No, he's short of his intended plan. He is on a yellow, the one just above the left-hand side of the eight ball, but it's not a good angle. Sort of, he's relying on a bit of luck. I think um, if he does get the pot uh, to continue on in the this. It's a great pot. He can see a yellow, but he can't do anything with it. Red's in the way for the plant. I don't think it goes anywhere straight. He's having a look. Maybe yellow off red? That's a big shot, though, That's isn't it? That's a huge shot. Yeah, very, very tight. No, two tick contact. So he's had his first chance. It's not a great layout for Jason, but at this point, you're happy to get to the table when you go straight and off the break. I know we're very, very early in this match, Mark, but what would this mean for Irish Paul if they could take down this title? I mean, it's the first time we've had the World Championships in Ireland, and this would just be such a big moment for them. Oh, it would be huge for, uh, for our country itself. This is such a prestigious event to have here in Ireland. Um, it's unbelievable how many people have actually come in and uh, just off the street to look at it. Um, it's huge and uh, this would uh, bring us to a different level, I think, uh, especially with the international rules set coming in. It's a very good pot. Has he got the gap? I think he has. I don't think he'd be able to hold for the middle uh, and the opposite middle after he pots this one. So, um, if he hits it with pace and, and pulls back on top of it, he may be able to hold for the bottom one. Had to yeah. really nip it, didn't he? He's, I think he's on the one to the right centre, but then he's got to thread the needle here. It's not ideal. He would much rather be on the one to the bottom left. How big a, how big a swerve is it? 
I think it's too much. I think he has to go right centre. Yeah, absolutely. If it was just a case of a playing with a tracer side, it would, he'd go that way. So it's thread the needle time. Oh, wow. And he's it to keep going. No. It's going to pull up. Yeah, it's just short. Can he see enough to play yellow off red? I think he can He can definitely see the yellow, but I, I can he see enough? He needs to see about three-quarter ball. He may attempt to serve it, yeah, to try and get that three-quarter ball. He's got yeah. it. He's what a shot. Wow, what a shot. <laughs> Eight ball's still not easy. I think he's about half a pocket, has he? I, I, I think that's being generous. Yeah. Well, he's looking at other options, so I don't even think he's got a quarter of a pocket here. So he won't want the eight ball in. He did, he did dig very deep there, but not able to come up with the goods. Jason might take a chance just here and try and develop his two reds on the, on the cushion and try and lay a snooker. It's sort of good I don't news. think he wanted yeah, it. Yeah, it's sort of good news, bad news, because yeah, he, he didn't want the pot to go in the way he's played the... He's got the cue ball perfect, so now he's forced to go again, and now this is just a little touchy one. But now he can go. Yeah, absolutely. I can't emphasise enough how there there is no easy shot out there. So any time, even a pot like that, it just it's just tough in this environment. Just has to keep his concentration now. Sort of anything but straight here. Even straight, he's, he could manage it, but he's worked these through nicely. That's it. Chase uh, some water puts Ireland in front. Works very hard at his game, always looking to improve. Yeah, nice guy. Oh, complete miss hit. Complete miss hit, and his reward is massive. Wow. I mean, that's as bad as you can hit a break. <laughs> and, and, uh, if, he, if the two yellows together, if the top one goes, or the bottom one, I don't think the bottom one does, if the top one goes, and that is as good as it gets. Sometimes you don't get what you deserve in this no. game. Sometimes you get an awful lot more. And it's certainly the case here for Leiden. Yeah, you would fancy him taking these out. You have to say, there's one thing getting the, the rub, and he's certainly had it here, but you've still got to take it. Leiden obviously wants to leave the ball over the middle for his last ball small bit of pressure I see him blowing hard out there yeah and he's, he's done a lap of the table to compose himself he knew what he was doing before he went for the one duck Oh, don't stick oh. yourself. Oh, he's had a, another touch of fortune. That's two in the frame. Again. Nearly just, pushed it too far. It just shows you how much he's feeling it out there. Just And it emphasises everything we're saying. Nothing is easy out there for any of these players. But we're all square once again. It is a break clearance for Lyle Nabono. And he can go and celebrate with his team. Yes, moving. 
Not this time, but nothing else drops for him either. No. So how good is the table here for Ryan Pisani? It's a little tight on the right-hand side. If you can see the bottom of the two reds near the right-hand centre, and it, well, he can. Yeah. Uh, it, it will squeeze through. If he's just about straight enough to drop it in and stay on the one down the cushion, then actually these reds just unfold. Eight ball, you'd say, is then in the trickiest position. Has got a fair bit of angle on this one, so he might not be able to hold the shot I was talking about. No, he couldn't. But that's not a problem. He can still get back to that one on the cushion. I don't think he wants to be leaving it for his last ball anyways. He'll have to get rid of it as soon as he can. Yeah, I'm trying to see what he could connect to afterwards. See the teammates trying to plan something out. Yeah, he's left himself a small angle here. Yeah, he can play on the one down the cushion now. He, he wouldn't want to finish absolutely straight, but somewhere, yeah, maybe a ball or two off the cushion. He can then drop it in and connect up to a couple of options. One over the right centre is there for him. He's a pretty cool customer as well out there. Yeah, Ryan Pisani is very. He's only after coming up from the underage level as well. has got that angle. The yellow to the left of the red over the right centre just could play a little bit big here. So he just has to be careful with that one. He could play on the one in the middle of the table, but he does need good position on his last ball to get on the eight ball. So he will have mapped out the full route here. And he has got the one in the middle of the table. Slightly hampered. Yeah. I wonder if this closest red nearest the bulk line, does that go to the top right from our angle? Yeah, it certainly would help him. It looks like it does, but it's, I don't, it may not be the full pocket. I think he can pinch the pocket here and, and maybe play for red to left centre. If you finish short of straight, you should, you should be able to either use the top cushion or just drift across. If that's on, I'd rather, if you could get there, maybe a little bit straight. But if he has to come back here, if he pulls back to absolutely straight or just past it, he's in trouble. Yep. So he's, he's come up short because he couldn't afford to go straight. So he's a, he's a ball short here, but he can still recover. But remember, this isn't the full pocket. This is tight. And when it's a blind pocket and it's tight, it adds to the tariff. Yeah, it's a very cute ankle. Oh, good show. Yeah, classy. <laughs> and Ryan Bassani with a great finish to put Malta one in front. And it's Malta to get us back underway and a disaster. Neil Sweeney with the opportunity here for Ireland then. Cue ball in hand anywhere behind that break line. Yeah, I think the only problem he has is the red on the, on the top cushion if he can get good position off that the reds look fairly okay uh, actually both sets look okay yeah you can make a well, it looks like he likes the yellows I'm assuming that means the yellow to the bottom right hand corner goes and we talk oh. about that all the time the cannon or the play the shot down the cushion and the cannon this time goes wrong I actually quite like the cannon this time if it had gone well simply because it then becomes a connection from the one to the bottom right up the table, so I can absolutely understand why he played it, but now that's a problem ball. Yes, 
It looks okay. like he's gearing himself up to play it. This is massive. Oh, it's a huge shot, yeah. Off the red. Oh, no. No. And worse, it doesn't even block the red. Not that that's a big advantage in international eight ball rules, but these reds are wide open. You said it at the top of the frame, Mark, but you could have gone either colour set there, and this is now a good chance for Malta. Wayne Benici to try and take these out and open up a two-frame lead. Wow. Very bad miss. Uh, I think it was a lack of concentration. I think it was just, it po he probably looked at him and just thought it was it was too easy. Yeah, he was mapping out his finish and, and kind of had given himself the pot before he'd made the pot. So a big let off for Niall Sweeney here. So what was Niall's problem ball is not his problem ball anymore. Yeah, it's opened it right up, isn't it? Just connect the dots here. Yeah, that's okay. I would say that he sort of makes one of his yellows slightly awkward, but he can deal with that. You can see the one to the top left and the top right. The top right, the cue ball's going with a huge amount of angle away from his work. He has to really control the cue ball well here. Which he has. Good shot. I still feel like there's one delicate shot required. I almost think he, he might have to play the cannon here, yellow to left centre, and just catch the yellow on the below the eight ball, kind of full. Yeah, just to hold for the the one over the top pocket. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Bit of ten. They're feeling it. They are. Yeah. They are feeling it out there. And that's okay. Yep. He can still pot this. He has to deal with the red and eight ball above it. If he catches, if he can just soft screw it with, and miss the red and catch the eight ball, then he'll stay on the yellow. Just don't put the eight ball onto the top cushion. It all depends on what the natural is here. Yeah, perfect control. Yeah, perfect yeah what a visit this is from Niall. Oh. All the hard work and he decelled. Ah, it doesn't go to the middle, I don't think. He actually, considering how poorly he decelled there, you know, the amount of right hand side he was getting on it, he's actually done well to pop the ball and he is in a world of trouble though is, is he looking at a treble, do you think it's on? Yeah. he's got to Some avoid shot. the reds both ways here and get the cue ball out of the way it's not far away no way is it oh, it's not going to reach it was just low as well, not quite enough pace to hold its line and he's had two chances in this frame, not been able to take it. He's in a bit of trouble now, I think. Yeah. Well, we're at 30 seconds a shot, which he'll be thankful for, because he's going to have to get very curative here, try and find an angle when he's got nothing. And he's used his extension, so he's going to have to do it quickly. Off two cushions again, up and down. It's a very good hit. Yeah, good shot. It won't stop Wayne Benici from having the chance to clear up, but as we've seen, he's already missed an easy pot in the frame. Anything can be missed. And I think the time for safety is over here. It's time to go. Yeah, he's going to start with the plant.
Oof. I actually totally oh, missed oh, oh, it. I did. I thought that wasn't going to drop. No. I have to say, the two shots we've seen him play in this frame. He's very not, nervous. He's very, very edgy out there. Niall could well hope to get back to the table here. Now, considering how the previous two shots went for him, that's a very good pot and con control. He wouldn't have picked it up with his hand and put it much better than that. Will you try and move it off the cushion, do you think, Simon? I don't think he should. I'm not saying he won't, but I don't think he should. It is the ball to, to get on, though. Might become his last ball. Depends how he wants to work these. That's not good. No, that's not good. I think if you're going to play the one he just played, you come out to the middle of the table. This is a bad angle. The pot's comfortable, but the angle is not a good one. Hard to get up the top of the table nicely, but going middle, top, then the one to the left of the eight ball is not a good route. He forced it across. Well, he's tried and he's not managed to do so. Another opportunity in the frame for Niall Sweeney. Oh, no way. There are some nerves out there. Absolutely. This time they are laid out nicely for Benici. You have to say, the way this frame has gone, it's the edges frame we've seen so far. And that probably highlights how big a moment this is, 4-2 or 3-3. Three, three. Another miss. Another miss. Just didn't fancy him for it. The no. way this frame has gone, you really no, get anything absolutely. half difficult. He hasn't left this particularly kind. Okay, you can look at it and go, let just play the combo. But considering what he's just missed, yeah, this is massive. Oh. I don't think he gave it enough time. I thought, I thought he just kind of rushed well, to the small bit. Well, we are at 15 seconds of shot now. Yeah. That frame's taken a few minutes. We're into the final 10 minutes. Therefore, 15 seconds of shot. And Malta open up a 4-2 lead. And their nerves might be quite frayed after what we've just seen in the previous frame. It's not going to make these guys feel any, no. any more confident about what no, they have to do. Oh, God. How unlucky. Just misstruck that break. The power was there. The control of the cue ball wasn't. It just seemed the top spin just brought it back up halfway up the table and just took it into the pocket then. Yeah, maybe just a, a tip high on the ball and just slightly across it. Looks like Joseph's going to go here, isn't he? I know it's 15. Oh, he's missed. I was going to say, I know it's 15 yeah. seconds a shot, but he kind of... For players that haven't played at 15 seconds a shot that much, you end up almost rushing. There is a way to play at 15 and not look like you're rushing. I'm not sure that's how you have a feel out there. But the good news for Malta is the yellow on the left-hand side. The red he just missed has made that one awkward. And with seven minutes on the clock, this really isn't ideal for Ireland. Unlucky there. I think you just want to take, catch that a little bit harder. Okay, the red does clip in the middle. He tried to get underneath the red that he hit at the bottom of the table. He's also on the red he's next to, a little a delicate cutback. A couple of options here for Joseph.
he's overdone it yeah he hasn't left it easy for Satuni but he couldn't have back into the same pocket the yellow just above the black that's not worked out at all not even no. Very not even too. made the red at the bottom awkward I mean, he was trying to make it of course float it in and then have a chance to clear up but that's actually left things wide open here and you do get the sense because there's only five minutes 20 now used up another what about three minutes in this frame already you just feel three frames may well be too tall in order even with golden breaks in play for Ireland here yeah. And Malta to break next as well, so it will be a long way back if Joseph Asher can clear up here. I was about to say the red nearest his hand was going to be the one to deal with, and it, he's tried to do it straight away, but he hasn't landed nicely on it. Yeah, it's a big shot. No. So Zatuni gets another chance. He's had two already and he hasn't he hasn't just settled yet, so oh. this is incredible. Both teams are really struggling out there. Pressure is really getting to these players. That's a good shot. No, that's, that's a very good shot. That may well earn him an opportunity, although you have to say it's a one cushion escape. Assuming the yellow's off the bottom cushion, just if you can hit that one, you can return the favour here. And he can. That's a good shot. I don't know if he's left a pot on. I don't think he has. He may have put the one in the middle, will he? Yeah, it's very thin, but it is on actually. Oh, it's oh. not the plant's not gone. No. Time's running out. There's only 340 left. Ireland need two frames, so they definitely need this frame now. And this is the final frame of the first seven, so the players can change their order after this frame. So that you'd have to say with the way the tournament's gone so far. This is actually huge because if Ireland can get it, then they could well be throwing out Sean Sharkey, who has been the hero previously. But that foul didn't hit a cushion after contact, may hurt them. He's got to be careful. He's cannoning into the red. He could put this safe. Oh, oh he's tried to pinch the pocket. Hey. <laughs> wow, this is incredible scenes out there. I thought we could go the other way on that one and not have yeah. to pinch it so much. That I, was strange. I'm surprised you didn't lay the snooker again. Or, or put the cue ball to the right-hand side of it and go off the left-hand cushion and back out. Yeah. And then you don't have to pinch the pocket. Big moments here. Big moments indeed. Yes, yeah, Stooney just has to just make sure these three now. That's it. It would be very interesting to see who each side send out next. Remember, they can change. It is their moment where they can... And there's only going to be one yeah, frame in it. Yeah. Ireland are back in it. With two minutes 22, if Gary can make a ball and have a big split, he can kill this clock. A dry, a dry break would be nice as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got better than a dry break. How's the split? How is the split here for Sean Sharkey? Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, I definitely think it's good. The other thing that, are, that the teams will have been able to do is essentially put their next player up will be their sixth red player in terms of, well, it may be not actually because if this frame finishes, then the next player up. So, they, But they could have been clever and worked that out. But anyway, that's for to come. It's whether Sean Sharkey can make this clearance and it is wide open for him to do it again. Yeah, absolutely. I, I would back him 100% on this. Also, with 1 minute 46 left on the clock, if he can run through this, he could give his next man up an opportunity, maybe 40 seconds, maybe, an, maybe a minute if he can fly through this. But he may take his time and really kill the clock as well. It will be Ireland to break next. And Stevie Dempsey, one of the big players from Ireland. Not part of the Irish team here this week, though.
Oh, oh no way! Oh my god! Hard to believe what we've just oh seen. Oh my god. He was going through it so comfortably. That was as easy a pot as he had in the whole visit, as he's had all day. And Gary Carr just needs to hold himself together for 55 seconds. I should just three. pot three, four more balls, and it is match over here. Yeah, 40 more seconds. Two more pots, you say two, three, three, and it's done. Three and it's definitely done, yeah. He's not going to the beeps here. He's actually flying through the visit. And he hasn't called his extension yet as well. But with only 20 seconds now left, if this goes in, it will be over. Malta will be in the final. Sean Sharkey knows it. I feel sorry for Sean. Um, what an effort by the, this Irish team. And Sean Sharkey comes forward to shake Gary Carr's hand. Malta will go into the final to take on Northern Ireland. What a match, full of drama, full of nerves. What a competition so far. It's going to be a brilliant final. It will be a brilliant final. It will be Malta versus Northern Ireland. And it will be coming up in a very few minutes time.